So we are going to play around with the Litchi app today and uh, using waypoints. And I just discovered something that is really, really exciting. Uh, that um, I knew it was there, but I haven't tried it before. That you can actually plan your missions from a, sort of from inside the house, from a normal computer to the desktop, to a browser, and then you can go outside and execute it uh, afterwards. So you don't need to fiddle around with the screen, trying to set up waypoints and stuff. You can sit inside with a cup of coffee and then really think about how you would plan your mission. Then you simply save it on the computer and then it's available on the app. That's what we're going to try today in this video. I'm using uh, the beta version of uh, the Litchi app and I'll make sure to uh, put links to that program in the description below. Let's head inside and see if we can plan a mission. So let's start by planning the mission by using the mission hub. Find that here. So the, on the Litchi website and it will automatically try to determine where you are. And right now I'm logged in with my account, Henrik Olsen, and this is a mandatory for it to be able to synchronize later. So if I just press home here, it will try to locate me, but I'm not really here. So I'm somewhere down here at my father's place here. So what we're going to do today, we are flying a small test mission in uh, this field, just across uh, where he lives. And uh, because it is pretty windy, I will try to keep the altitude low. We start out by setting the first waypoint here by clicking the left mouse button. So this will be the waypoint one. Then we'll fly somewhere. Uh, yeah, and then it's really important because otherwise you have to change the altitude on every other waypoint after this. So we put this to five meters. So we're sure that the drone can handle it. Then I will set the next waypoint. I will set that out here somewhere like that. And I will set one more out here. And then let's just move so we keep out in the open. Yeah, we just set a few more waypoints and then we will finalize the mission on waypoint number seven. And one thing that is important for you to set up is sort of to determine what will happen when the drone has finalized the mission. So if we just go in here, uh, the, the, the sand, uh, standard settings under the settings icon here, and you can see that uh, you can set a lot of stuff in here. Uh, but what we wanna look at is the finishing action. And in my case, I just want it to be none, as I don't want it to uh, try and head back as there's a lot of trees uh, from where I'm going to take off. You can set a lot of the other parameters here. And uh, curve turns makes it very, very nice when it goes through waypoints. So, uh, and uh, you can basically see that if I close this one, you can see that uh, it tries to put in sort of this Turkish, Turkish colored line. This is where the drone will fly. So when it passes a waypoint, it will do a nice uh, soft curve instead of like a rapid turn if it had to go to the exact waypoint. Let me just see if there's anything else we need to set in here. Uh, default gimbal pitch mode. We want this to focus on the point of interest. The way you put in a point of interest, let's use this house as an example. There's nobody living there, so we can very easily film it from the outside without uh, sort of doing anything to the privacy. And we're also filming below in five meters height, so there's no issue there. But you do that by right-clicking the mouse. And see, now you will have a point of interest here, and you will be able to adjust that. Let's say that the point of interest is uh, and let's put that in three meters height. And then you can see that the drone, the triangular shape of the drone actually shows the way that the drone is pointing towards this uh, point of interest. And right now, maybe we should, just for the fun of it, put in another point of interest. Let me put the point of interest at the other side, so it's this farm on the other side. It's no fun to create a mission without uh, the camera doing anything. So what we can do here is we can initiate some actions. So in waypoint number one, we want the drone to start recording. Waypoint number two, we don't want the, we, we want it to keep recording, so we're not doing anything there. Waypoint number three is um, we want the camera to stop. So we just add another action here and go in the under here and say stop recording. Then we move to Waypoint number four, 
what we want the drone to do here, we want it to stay for two seconds. Then we want it to, just as an example, take a photo. And then we're not doing anything more here. We will let it continue to waypoint number five. And here we can start the recording and let it move on to waypoint number six and further on to number seven, where we are going to stop the recording. So now we have planned, oh, so now <laughs> I accidentally set an extra additional waypoint. It's very simple to get rid of that. We simply just press delete and then it goes away. I can, if I forgot a waypoint, it's just a nice thing to know that I can, if I have, let's just go back here. See, um, under waypoint number five, let's say that I have forgot to insert a waypoint, I can do that. So I basically get an additional waypoint so I can modify my mission without having to start all over again. So, and uh, delete, we'll just take it away again. So now I have my mission. It's a very maybe boring mission. It's only uh, done in five meters height. The drone will continue here during one, two, and three. Uh, it will film the waypoint or the point of interest number one. Then it will move to waypoint number four, where it will stop and take a photo of the farm up here. And then it will continue to waypoint number five, where we will start recording again and move towards waypoint number seven, where the drone will simply just stop and I can fly it back manually. How do you, how do you get it to the drone now? That is pretty simple. You just go here and press save. So we call this, I've done a few tests here, test mission number three then i simply press save so now i'm done here at the computer and because i'm logged in so if i uh, just jump over to the phone on the Ligi app it's not connected to the drone yet but it doesn't matter uh, to show the, uh, that the, the drone is a uh, or the mission is being transferred i simply select waypoints here and then i go under the folder here I can load the different missions. So you see now it updated, so I get the mission three that we just created. So if I load that, you can see I have the exact same mission here on my phone and I can head out and, um, and fly the mission. So the really cool part is here, when you load the mission, it's actually locked per default by the red uh, lock here. So it's uh, you're not tampering or fiddling around with it. And you can see the height of all the waypoints is five meters. And um, we're basically ready to head outside right now to try and fly this mission and see if it does what we have decided for it to do. So we start by flying the drone. And I just remembered something. When you're using this curve thing, it's actually not possible to use these actions, but let's see how it goes. So now I switch it into waypoint. So I'm located here on the other side. Here, and I will just load the Orbi mission number three. So now I have the mission that we just set our mind out for. So I will execute it by pressing the play icon here. So see now it will move. I will fly towards waypoint number one and it will rotate so it looks at point of interest and it will start the recording but as far as I remember there are some issues uh, and I kind of forgot that when I planned the mission that uh, it might not do all the actions that we have put in because it was supposed to stop the video right now didn't do that but it continues to film on the path that we planned of course, you need to mess around a little bit with this to get it to do whatever that you want it to do. But if you take away the curvy functions of the drone, then you can basically make it perform the actions that we had sort of decided it to do. So it will stop and it will do the filming. Like that. So we are very nicely positioned over here. It's being kicked around by the wind. So let's go in here and choose waypoint. And then we need to load the mission five, like that, where we have taken away the curves. I launched the mission now. So the drone will try and search towards waypoint number one. 
and then it will turn and point towards point of interest number one. And it will start recording like we asked it to do. And then it will move nicely to waypoint number two. And this is sort of a little bit annoying that we can't combine this with curves because it will be like it will stop at waypoint number two before it continues to number three where it's supposed to stop filming. So now it stopped filming. Then it will turn the camera so it points toward the, uh, the farm that's on the other side. And it will take a break there and snap a photo. At least that's what we asked it to do. And then it will move towards waypoint number five where it will continue to start, or it will start video recording. So now it records the video. It moves nicely towards waypoint number six. Through number six, and we are getting a little bit squeezed on battery here. So. And back to waypoint number seven, where it will just stay and hover. And let's hurry bringing it back here <laughs> before I need to go and get it on the other side of the road. So let's get it down here in a nice height where the wind is not so strong. Let's get it back here before it drops out of the sky. Now it lands. Oh. And now we're crashing. Just let it land out. Oh, we're not crashing. <laughs> Saved by the bell. So now at least I can land it without harming the drone. It is initiating auto landing. So let's just cancel this. Okay, the drone is back safe. <laughs> that was cutting it a little bit close. I kind of knew that, that we'd be fighting the wind. So this was a demonstration of uh, the Mavic Mini, how you can use uh, the Litchi app for doing uh, waypoints. And it's, uh, I actually think at many points, because we don't have an SDK for um, uh, the Mini 2, that the Mini 1 is a more fun drone to play around with, as you have all these third-party uh, apps that will be able to utilize and fly the drone and add a lot of functionality to this. And I just saw that uh, you can pick up one of these minis relatively cheap on Amazon right now. So I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below so uh, you can go check it out for yourself in case you want to pick one of those up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.